President Trump is shaking up the Pentagon sooner than expected. He names a new acting defense secretary over the weekend after ordering Jim Mattis to leave the job two months earlier than he planned. CBS 4's Mullalenga has the very latest now from the White House. President Trump is temporarily replacing outgoing Defense Secretary Jim Mattis with his deputy, Patrick Shanahan. I think the president no longer relied on Mattis to be able to deliver the president's vision. Shanahan joined the Defense Department in 2017 after working at Boeing for more than three decades and is a strong advocate for Mr. Trump's Space Force. This administration's highest priority is your safety and security. Mattis resigned last week after the president's decision to pull all 2,000 U.S. troops out of Syria. Over the weekend, the president rejected his offer to stay on the job until February. Shanahan takes over January 1st. Mattis's sudden departure has triggered widespread concern here in Washington, even among members of the president's own party. Some devastating decisions are being made, uh, even with people giving strong input uh, in the opposite direction. Sunday, Mr. Trump tweeted that Turkey's president will eradicate whatever is left of ISIS in Syria, adding, and he is a man who can do it. Muslims need to ultimately police Muslim lands. When Americans are there and we kill someone who lives there, they see it as a religious affront. This morning, the president continued to make a case for the pullout, saying, in part, we are substantially subsidizing the militaries of many very rich countries. General Mattis did not see this as a problem. I do, and it is being fixed. Mola Lenghi, CBS News, the White House. And CBS News has confirmed that outgoing Defense Secretary Mattis has signed the order to begin the process of withdrawing U.S. troops from Syria.